Christmas from Benjamin and Ellie. And Ellie. To get you guys ready for Christmas, we're going to tell a famous Christmas poem. It's called, Twas the Night Before Christmas, A Visit from St. Nick. From Clement Coke Moore. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. And the hope was St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, with visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. Mama and a co-chief and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew to flash. <laughs> to open the windows and threw up the shucks. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave luster of midday to the objects below. When what did my wondering eyes should appeal? But a miniature sleigh with eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Saint Nick is Santa Claus, but he used to be called Saint Nick. Before he was called Santa Claus. St. Nicholas, do you get um something in your shoe? And I got a Playmobil and a candy cane in my shoe. On December 5th, the day right before St. Nicholas Day, there's Krampus night. Everybody who's bad is little Krampus people. They punish the bad kids. Krampus looks like a bad guy that steals kids. Krampus Day, not at all, no way. I think More rapid than eagles, the closer he came. And he whistled by shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen. Rudolph is the most famous one of all. Rudolph is in the, the story because it's because there's a full moon out, so it's not cloudy on Chris, on Christmas. So. <laughs> To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, with Rudolph and the Reynolds Reindeer. Now dash away, now dash away, now dash away all. As dry leaves, as before the hurricane fly. When they meet an obstacle, mount to the sky. Up to the housetop, the courses they flew. With a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. Then in the twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my hand and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples all merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, like Rudolph's nose. His jaw little mouth was drawn up like a bow. His beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke he encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly. And shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was jolly and plump, right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I have nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. Oh, when Santa's work is um, giving kids presents. He's still making toys anyways, uh -huh. with his elves. No, he's also making toys. So well, he's the one who gives the orders to the elves. Oh, yeah. He filled the stockings and turned with a jerk. He made his finger a side of his head. And giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. <sighs> he sprang to his sleigh, to his team, he gave a whistle. His team's probably his reindeer. 
<laughs> and this elf. Yeah. He might ride with a few elves in the sleigh in case something breaks. And away they flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain. And he drove out of sight. Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas to all and to all a good night. Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody! Do you recall the most famous unicorn with, of all 